Hello everyone, welcome back to another Ethereum devlog. I'm thrilled to share some updates I've been working on. So let's dive right into it. First up, let's talk about destruction animations. I've implemented a physics-based destruction animation for vehicles in Ethereum. Now when vehicles get destroyed, you will see them break apart in a somewhat realistic and dynamic way. Next, let's discuss the Assault Engineer. I've given this infantry unit a makeover. I've slightly modified the model by adding a backpack, giving it a more tactical appearance. But that's not all. More importantly, the Assault Engineer now has the ability to conquer buildings. This opens up new strategic possibilities in gameplay, allowing players to capture and control key structures on the battlefield. Introducing a new neutral building to Tyrion, the Extractor. This structure can be conquered by the Assault Engineer, giving players control over its resource production. The Extractor periodically generates Tyrion, providing players with a steady stream of resources to fuel their war effort. Keep an eye out for these extractors on the battlefield. They could be the key to victory. Last but not least, let's talk about the bunker. This new building is a defensive structure that can hold up to 5 infantry units. It provides valuable cover and protection for your troops, allowing them to hold strategic positions and withstand enemy assaults. With the addition of the bunker, players now have even more options to fortify their bases and defending against enemy attacks. And that's it, the latest update to Tyrion. I am constantly working to improve the game and bring you new and exciting features. Stay tuned for more devlogs in the future and be sure to let me know what you think about the game in the comments. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy gaming! Bye!